going on tonight uh here with donnie again and we're gonna uh we're you know, this is still the first well technically the first part of our series of uh competition prep and we're still in lean out phase because we didn't cover a lot of stuff uh in the last episode so we're gonna touch on some things on this one uh you know it, it goes even deeper than two episodes too but just to get the gist of it i mean so anyway where, how you doing tonight donnie not bad, man. You're right, man. We're just skimming the surface, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I think the biggest, the coolest and the biggest thing of bodybuilding is you're figuring out your body through yeah. this journey. It's you against yourself. That's yeah. all it is. You have competitors, but it's really, you're competing against yourself. You're right. Your, and your body changes all the time. So it's like what worked, you know, before might not work now. And it's just, it's a constant you know, uh, it's a, it's, it's, it's fun in that sense. You, 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 I don't think you could ever conquer it, you know, and know everything, you know, Yeah, no two, no two preps are actually alike. Yeah, and exactly. And, and that's, what's cool about it. Uh, but anyway, I mean, one of the first questions I wanted to ask, uh, we touched on cardio a lot last time, right? uh, but, uh, uh, I wanted to talk about the significance of fasted cardio and, and when we do our cardio, you know, I wanted to kind of talk about that first. All right. So, so you, you got to just just understand the the process of it. I mean, carbohydrates is the is the is the primary fuel source. But typically, let's say we, let's say let's say it's like twelve o'clock or it's one o'clock or two o'clock. You've already eaten some meals, the whole nine yards, and you're going to do cardio. Well, when you do cardio, about the first few minutes of it, because you've got your glucose levels up, and I'm just talking, I'm just speaking in general now. It's gonna about the first ten minutes of this cardio is just getting that glucose level down to where the fat burning mechanism starts kicking in and stuff because the body's only going to allow you to burn so much of that glucose and stuff. And then the fat burning starts kicking in. But the thing about this is, it's not going to talk about fasted cardio. And this is why fasted, we always preach fasted cardio. Well, I mean, cardio first thing in the morning on an empty stomach because that's the ideal scenario for fasted cardio right there, okay? Mm -hmm. Because what happens is during the night, your body burns fat for fuel is what it does. Okay, and it does that up to three minutes after you wake up or until you eat a carbohydrate, okay? And then it shuts off, okay? So just think about it. You're getting up in the morning. You're up. It's about 6 o'clock, you know, 5.30, about to go do cardio. And right now, you're already burning fat. You're already in that yeah. fat-burning mode, you know? You take your fat burner and stuff. I use mine as a pre-workout, okay? And then... You go hit your cardio and that very first step or that very first pedal or whatever, you're already in that fat burning mode. Okay. okay. And that's, that's why they say fasted cardio, because what that does is, you know, you, you start burning fat from the get go instead of your first five to 10 minutes of your cardio, you're burning actually glucose, you know, to get the blood sugar down low enough to where it kicks in. And mm -hmm. so that's why it's, it's fasted cardio. And that's why. Uh, first thing in the morning on an empty stomach is probably the best way to do it. That's the way that's the best way to ensure that you're in that 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 scenario that's best for fat burning and stuff. And you're using your time wisely. I mean, as far as that goes. Oh, well, that's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Instead of wasting yeah, the, you know, morning, empty, yeah. First thing in the morning, empty stomach, yeah. I'm up, you know, you know, don't eat anything, don't drink anything, take fat burner. I'm I'm on that step meal. Yeah. And for me, for me, it kind of starts out my day too, like. You know, uh, I don't want to do it. Sometimes a lot of times I do want to do it, you know, when I get into it, but most of the time I don't want to get up and go you know, on the <laughs> stair stepper for an hour or whatever. But then I push myself and I see the light at the end of the tunnel, what I'm looking mm -hmm. for and the kind of the goal mm -hmm. set. And then I just kind of turn into a machine and I just march. And mm -hmm. then, and at that point right there for me, that point when I, when I, when the lights turn on, you know, uh, my day's good, you know, uh, everything's going to fire off where it needs to be. Right. You know, and and I think for me during that time when you don't feel the greatest anyway, that is uh, the best part of my day. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it, more yeah, morning cardio. I can I can have even even the last couple of weeks. You know, I can deal with morning. It's that it's that night cardio that kills yeah. me. I yeah. mean, I know, haven't had just, to do that yet. <laughs> yeah, that yeah <laughs> that that you're just really depleted. In. It's just. It yeah. is, it is, it is a killer, you know? So, but uh, yeah, you got to do what you got to do though. You know? Yeah, you do. You do. You do. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we tackled that. So uh, my next point, uh, my next question is, you know, the theory, uh, you know, uh, when, when you start your competition prep, you know, higher, higher reps, lower weight, you know, that's what you're supposed to do. 
uh, I guess the question is, and I know the answer to that we both do, but I, I kind of want to talk about switching up your routine. So is there a reason to switch up your team, your routine from, from off season to competition or should you keep it the same and why? So, so I keep, I keep mine. I keep mine the same. I keep yours the same because especially the premise of our program is to recruit as many fibers as possible. You want to fire as many um, fibers as possible for thickness and density, you know? And, uh, and, and uh, so, you know, of course, with that in mind, as you're, as you get the ebbs and flows of your energy levels and stuff, that's how it's going to change. You sure? you, you'll probably, you'll probably see more drops as the time goes on than you will, you know, or in the off season and stuff, sure. you know, uh, stuff like that. And then of course, you know, the final two weeks we're doing B squad training and then we're doing C squad training. Yeah. So, and, but that, and, but that's primarily because you're just really depleted and you really don't need to do all that, 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 that first, that A squad type training and stuff, you know, yeah. we still yeah. the same amount, amount of race. We just really dropped that volume a little bit. So actually, we're kind of doing the opposite, you know. Yeah, we, yeah. We, we drop the volume a little bit, and we kind of keep the weights the same, you know, to recruit the fibers, you know. But the thing about it is that, like I said, you're you're so depleted at that point, you know. It's not like we're doing it, you know, because it's more effective to do this, that, or other. No, we're doing it because you're depleted as hell, and you know, and, <laughs> you can't, and, and, you can't and, do it. Yeah, That's horrible. Right, right. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, that's for sure, man. Uh, and and I and I think you know, and it, the intensity. I think I think for I think that is one of the biggest parts is the intensity. You know, you're going in even when you're strong and every, you know you're doing good off season. You're hydrated, everything's going great, and you're strong yeah. and everything. Uh, uh, that intensity's still there. You're hitting it harder than you normally would. Yeah. But as long as you got that intensity when you have no strength and you have no energy and you still have that intensity, doesn't have to be as strong as it was in off season, but just that intensity hitting it, you can do less and get more out of it. I think, you know, it's just that intent, how you hit it. Yeah. You know, yeah, if you go yeah. in it half fast, you know, you're, you're going to get half fast results. You know, you got to go firm, in and hit I'm, it strong. Yeah. I'm a firm believer that hard contractions make hard muscles. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And so that's, that's, that's just one of the reasons why I like to, I like to keep, I try to recruit as many fibers as I can. You know, well, so, I can yeah. test to that because I've been you with, been with you for a couple of years, and I got a lot of hard dunch muscle that that you put on me. So, <laughs> and it's all because of that training, you know, uh, and diet and everything else. But that training is what I really changed from training before, and I've trained lots of different ways, you know, uh, even rest pause training, but not as a full, you know, a full routine like I do now. Right, right, right. I wouldn't have it any other way. I mean, I, <laughs> I, lo I love it, you know, and I can get in, get in, and get out. So. Uh, and, and, and it, like I said, like I said <laughs> we're both we're both business we're both business owners. And we don't have a lot of time. Yeah, exactly. You know? <laughs> we do not have a lot of time and stuff, you know. And so, yeah, we we that, that that's that's the primary reason I train the way I train. As I well, if this is just so, you know, it's not. It, they're all good. They're all good, but it's more about property. You know, uh -huh. I mean, it, it, are you are you wanting to do a five day training routine when you only got three days to train? You can't do it. You know what I mean? It's yeah. just, it's just being pragmatic. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, you're doing it for a living. You're getting paid to right. do yeah. it. Now. <laughs> <laughs> then you get your stuff changes at that point. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I'd be in the gym a lot longer and I'd be sleeping all day long, eat yeah. my food, go to sleep, go train. And, <laughs> you know, but we don't we, we're, we're not like that. So, yeah. Uh, Okay, so I wanted to talk about posing now because I mean, as you know, in the uh, uh, Amro or the uh, the Northwest, <laughs> I screwed up on posing. I knew how to pose and all that, but my head was messed up, and I yeah. and I didn't get my poses because I forgot which side. Just a stupid mistake that I'll never make again. But I guess what my point is is practicing. How often should we be practicing posing? I mean, I know with you we do it every week, and I do it in the gym too. But right, obviously, I wasn't doing it enough, and I should have done it more. And, and which Emerald, I did do more and I will continue. I still, I do it now. So it's something I'm never going to stop doing practicing, but uh, you know, how, how, how much should you practice? You know, start the show? generally speaking as, as often, as often as you can, but, but posing, you know, it, it's, some people need it more than others. You know, mm -hmm. some people, they just, you know, I've worked with some people and stuff and never, never, never in their life. And, 
they're just nailing stuff, you know, and then you got people that have been doing for years and they still, you know, you, you, when you, when you try to get off the stage rust or you, 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 you go through the, you try to get, have them get the reps down so they can get the rhythm and everything back. It's like starting all over again. You know, mm -hmm. it, it, it really is, you know, so, you know, it, uh, it just varies from person to person, but I would say just generally speaking as often as you can, I mean, every day, if you have to, yeah, you know, yeah. I, I, I always spend time in the morning and, and just hitting, you know, certain poses, mainly through the mandatories and stuff and stuff that I'm, I'm, I'm ten, I tend to not, I know which poses are my, my, my best poses and I know which poses which are not. And I tend to spend more time with the ones that are not. Oh, okay. Okay. So that I yeah. can, I can, I can get those down and stuff. You know? so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. As often yeah. as you can, as often as you can pose, it's very, very, very important. And, and, and if you're, if you're growing too, your, your pose is going to change because your physique is going to change. Yeah, your body, it's, yeah, it's a, the, the more weapons you have, you know, then the more poses you can do and the more impressive that looks to you and stuff, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. it, especially if you're doing stuff like three quarter backs and stuff like that, stuff that most people aren't really doing, you know, yeah. that kind of sets you apart, you know, it all comes, it all comes from a strategic standpoint, it, it's all in that 60 second routine. And that 60 second routine, you know, you want to show just your best pose. You got 60 seconds to show the judge your absolute best shots, you know, mm -hmm. and the more you can kind of stay away from a lot of the uh, mandatories, oh. other, you know, the more impressive it is, the more, the, the, you know, the more impressive it is on the judges and you're more than likely to probably make that first call out. If you okay. Get yeah. Huh. I never, I never looked at it like that. Nah. Okay. Well, I, yeah, that's, why I got, that's why I got you, man. <laughs> the 60 seconds is, is really, that's, 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 that's the biggie and stuff, you know? Yeah. I mean, you know, back in the seventies, in 40, I mean, you used to actually get points for posing and stuff. They, oh, is they, that right? Yeah. They took that away. So, you know, it's, it's, you know, well, but, uh, why, but, yeah. why did they take well, it away? I, I, you know, it's just, just just the way it is and stuff. But yeah, you used to actually get kind of you actually used to get graded on it. Huh. Uh, they stopped that decades ago, so huh. I would say probably before the eighties. But I mean, the whole the whole point is you got a bunch of guys on stage that all look really good, better than your average person, and you got judges trying to see who looks better and mm -hmm. and critique you in that sense. So you want to stand out, and that's a way to stand out. Like, you know, with your, how impressive your teen is, whether you get graded on it or not, you know, they right. see you, they're going to remember, man, that was that guy that was hitting all those cool, you know, and the, you'll stick out rather than not stick out. And, 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 and another reason you want to, you want to, you want to practice posing a lot and stuff, you know, because, you know, basically when you're posing, you're probably by yourself or you're, or you're in a room, you know, a, 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 a group fitness room or something like that, you know, and, mm -hmm. and, and you're, you're posing and you're not, it's it's a lot different when you're posing there than when you're sitting on the stage. Yeah. One guy just got finished going on, and now they're saying, you know, it's your time to go on. Yeah. <laughs> and out there in the blackness, you know, and uh, and 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 sometimes, you know, you, you can you can uh, you can get a little, um, I guess, butterflies kick in, stuff like yeah. that. You get a little nervous. Yeah, you know, in, in the poses, you know, which you, which was great when you were posing by yourself. Now, you know, you got like oh. you know, a few hundred people looking at you, including the judges and stuff. You know, and it can just fall apart. Yeah, you know? yeah, because it gets, you know, it's you a can, head you, thing. It's a head drop, thing. Yeah, you can you can drop memory, the whole nine yards. Forget your mechanics. Your mechanics is very 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 important. And that's what happened to me in the Northwest. Because. You knew the poses. It's just, yeah, I know. Yeah, you, you got up there and 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 um and yeah, I'm like, okay, whoa, something's going on. Something's going on. I wish I could have heard you back there. What the you hell know? is he doing? And it, it's something. It, it's it's one thing. If, it's one thing if you're doing just your 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 sixty second routine, you know. But you have a lineup up there, and if everybody else is nailing theirs, you know, and then. Yeah. We're going to, it it that just profounds it even more. So the eyes are off you at that point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whether yeah. you hit the other ones good or not, they're they're not watching you. And you're right. You don't have enough. You don't have a lot of time either. You yeah. Like a few seconds. You know. What I mean, you can probably make it up if if it was if it was early. 
you can make it up, you know, because they're still going to be posing. But the thing about it is this, if it was towards the tail end and that was it for the pose and stuff, you know, that, mm. that's it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, uh, 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 you know, uh, as you guys know, well, I don't know if you, if you do know, you have to have a posing routine. And and what we're talking about is the routine after prejudging, you go out and you do it by yourself and you do it to a song that you choose and you have 60 seconds. Pro, you have 90 seconds, right? Right. So, okay. So yeah. so the, the 60 seconds that I was talking about, and it's 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 mainly in the pro ranks and it's at the national level. You oh. do it at the national. You don't do it at the regional level. You don't do it at okay. the local level, but you will do it at the national level. And as a matter of fact, they used to do it at the regional level. Okay. Okay. Uh, the, the the Northwest and Emerald Cup, you used to have a 60-second routine that you did, you know, in conjunction with the, the routine to music. Oh, really? Yes. Yes. Oh, I didn't. Okay. So you had two routines that, was, that you did? Yeah. You had at one point. Oh. Yes, you did. Okay. Huh. And so that's, that's, the, that's the routine that I was talking about. You oh, know, like at the, okay. at the regional level and at the low level, they don't do it anymore. Okay. Okay. But at the national level, you will do a, a, a 30 to 60 second routine. And basically, it, yeah, all it is, 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 it's just, it's just a, 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 a collection of your best poses. You just want to show the judges the best you got. Oh, you know? that way, you know, if, if, if it turns out well, you may make that first call out. So you, are you graded on that particular routine? Well, you're not so much graded, but the thing about it is, is they're taking a look at each and every every, every person before the lineup, okay. you know, and if you make a good impression on judges, you're probably going to make that first call out. Huh. I didn't know that they did two routines, so. Uh, yeah, well, well, okay. yeah, well we, when you get to Pittsburgh, you're going to know. Yeah, when I get to Pittsburgh, I like the sound yeah, of that because yeah. I'm going to Pittsburgh oh, next to Pittsburgh. year. <laughs> That's just plain going to happen. So, uh, okay. So, uh, how do you how do you pick your song generally for you? I know what kind of music you like and what you're going after. Yeah, and by yeah, the way, I mean, Donnie's posing songs are they're it's epic music and they are epic. Like the, I mean. Yeah. It's like an earthquake that's, going on. I mean, it's that epic. So yeah, that's that, <laughs> and that's what I like. You want to you want to play what you like. It's basically it's just an extension of your personality. Is all. Yeah, it. yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, you you you, you got to have some kind of connection with that song. You know? Uh -huh. you know, and 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 composing is it's it's a it's this is why the artistic side of it comes in. You know what I mean? You know, mm -hmm. and it's 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 art. It's expressive, and music is a part of it. You know. And so, uh, basically, it's music that moves me and stuff, you know. And the thing about it is, this, is typically the song that I'm going to pose to, I'll train to it, I'll do cardio to it. I love yards, and I'm just drumming, and, I'm, and, and I can picture the routine. So by the time I'm like four or three weeks out, I kind of got the the routine in my head. That's you know? awesome because I do the same. I do the same exact thing. That's exactly right, what yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, you know? that's what gets me over that little hurdle, that little light that turns on. Like this is my goal at the end of the tunnel. But I, right. I, when I find my song, I'm listening to that every time I'm in the gym to get me going. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. Like and, that. And, and, and uh, like I said, you know, when I'm on that step mill and stuff, you know, and I throw that hood on, I turn it. I'm, I'm, I'm on that stage, you know. Yeah. You know, and, and and I'm doing that routine to that song. You know what I mean? And and I'll go through that routine hundreds of times in my head, you know, before I've actually, which is right around about probably about seven, six weeks. I'm probably looking fairly close mm -hmm. when we like before I actually start going through it. You know, sometimes what I'll do is I'll even just draw it out, you know, you know, <laughs> little stick guys, you know, and I'll just draw that routine out and stuff, you know. And, really? And, and uh <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It, custom, at, at that point, oh, you got it. The, the routine is already set. You may not have the music yet, and then all you have to do is just sync the routine to the music. Okay, okay. So now, so so, so you're doing your cardio, you're training, you're imagining uh, what you're gonna look. You're imagining yourself on stage and how your routine is gonna look. And right. then when you figure that out, are you just like uh, you just like doing cardio and listening to a bunch of different songs or? Uh, no, sometimes they... I'll listen to it. I'll, 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 th th this is with me with cardio. <laughs> I will loop one song for an hour. <laughs> wow, okay. I've, I've done that. <laughs> I've done that. I, I will loop, you know, I, I you know, it's, when I get locked onto a song, you know, when I'm doing cardio, that's pretty much, I'll just put it on, I'll just put it on loop. 
mm-hmm. you know, and that's what I'll listen to. I'll listen to that one song and, and, and it'll it'll move me. And if when it no longer moves me, then I'll pick another song. You know, sometimes oh, okay. I might listen to something about me through it, and I may go the other half with something else. Okay. But there have been many a times where I take one song and I will play it for that entire hour. I am looping that song. That's you know, and a lot of times it's a song that I'm gonna be posing to, and and you know what I'm doing. I got that hood down, you know, and I can't see anything and stuff. I am just thinking about that dog on team. So that's that, that's how you get into that zone, into that, you know, that mindset is mm-hmm. that's how you zone out. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that's that's what I do, too. I mean, as far as the music and, and my posing routine. And then I have my, you know, my normal music that I listen to when I train. And that's basically a bunch of the same songs, too. <laughs> but, I, uh, I got to admit, you've been, you've been, your last couple of routines, you've been nailing pretty good, though. Really? I think so? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I think I got a, I think I got a song for, for this one too. Uh, hey, I'll, I'll let you listen to it. Uh, yeah. I, it's pretty, it's epic. Like, like what you like and stuff like that. Uh, and I, and I, and that's what I, when I listen to these songs, I do picture myself on stage, like, and I picture, you know, first of all, I'm looking 60 seconds, you know, how, how long do I have? Okay. All this, there's no cuss words, whatever that it's not. Supposed right. To be. Right. And then I kind of, then I kind of hit the beats, you know, okay you know, back double by front lap spread, you know what I mean? And, and, and yeah. And I learned that from you. Cause that's how, you know, you've helped me with all the songs before. So, uh, but yeah, that, that, yeah, it's, 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 it's a lot of fun doing that. That's kind of like your the icing on the cake as you're prepping, you know, is right. get your song and your routine. And once you know, you got it down. <laughs> right. Right. Okay. Now here's the big one. Uh, and the last question, I want to talk about depletion, what it is, what it's from, tricks to deal with it i mean uh unless you've done a bodybuilding show you have no clue what that means uh and you know sometimes you'll go through prep and it's not so bad other times it's horrible i mean and and like my you know my my prep diet was like in four thousand four hundred calories donnie's was under two thousand you know and it's like you know how he felt he probably felt just like i did maybe he felt worse you maybe did. i felt worse you did but but the you felt fact just is, as, you felt just as bad as I did. Yeah, and and, and the calories are that so much different. So it's just you yeah. know, and like you've told me before, if you if I was on your diet, I'd die. Yeah, <laughs> so, it would I mean, kill you. you could, there's, there's this way you could do that. Yeah. <laughs> so 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 let's talk a little bit about that depletion. Depletion. What what does it come from? So so basically, let's let's just find what it what it is first of all. So the depletion just just by the, it's just the the. the the diminishing of something okay mm-hmm. and in this case in a lean out phase it's body fat you know the more body fat you diminish you know then the more depleted you're going to feel so there, there, there there's a there's a feeling that goes with this that's why you know you can be in single digit you can be at eight percent you don't feel like that you know go down to seven yeah. percent you don't feel like it six percent you don't feel like it you know five percent you'll start to feel it a little bit you know then you can, i'm going to say five i'd say say 5.9 percent okay you start to feel it. and then 5.7 percent you know now you're feeling it more you know and so and so as as you diminish your resources in this case it's going to be your energy resource in this case it's fat okay. you know and the body doesn't the body just based on on our evolutionary process, the body does not see that as a good thing. You know, the body doesn't see you going to the Emerald Cup and stuff. The body goes yeah. back to the savannah or back in, back in yeah. you know, Northern Europe and stuff like that, to where, you know, you have famine and starvation and stuff, you know, and, and the body is like, this is not good. This is not good. Yeah. You know, yeah. and so, and so as you go down lower, you know, you're going to feel even worse. You know, it's, it's almost akin to, um, I don't know if you've ever heard saw the uh, the the real uh, the the reality show Naked and Afraid. Where, yeah. Oh yeah. 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 And you know, after about I think this what like twenty one days, yep. or something like that. Yeah. Gonna, you know, in those last two to three days, and you, you you can as just by their body language stuff, you can you can relate to them because yeah. they are depleted. Yep. Yep. Okay, they are very <laughs> very very depleted. Meaning, and, and and so when 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 our body fat levels get really low and we're talking about we're talking about 5.9 percent and lower for men and probably 11 and lower for women you know i mean 
you you not only you see it but you feel it you know mm-hmm. I mean, it 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 uh it's it's just exhaustion both physically emotionally and mentally you know you're just exhausted and you're constantly thinking about food you know yeah. Yeah. you know and so and so but the thing about it is this you know the training has to go on you know now and like i said this is when the training starts to change Okay, yeah. but doesn't it it, <laughs> yes. it, 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 not just go down to light weights and just do a lot of reps and stuff, you know, it's, 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 you know, you're, you're, you're having to do more drop sets. You gotta, you gotta lower the weight. Take, let's say if, if you're curling, you know, 80 pound or 60 pound dumbbells and stuff, you, you may do 60 for like a couple reps and you're going to drop it down to fifties and you may do a few and then you'll go down to forties and, and then yeah. towards the end, you're probably at 30s and stuff, but even 30s are kicking your butt. Now, check on the offseason, you wouldn't do that. You, would you wouldn't get anywhere near that. Yeah. And, and and not only the training, but but I got to it, but the cardio changes too. You yes. know, you're right. Yes. Fat burning, you're probably right around about that. Let's see. Let's say we start 12 weeks out because we just, we're typically 12, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Uh, but, but, but I'd say 12, week 12. You kind of, if you haven't done the off-season cardio, you're struggling a little bit. Yep, yep. <laughs> you first, start yeah. getting into the rhythm about 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 6 weeks. Out. You're, you're cranking. You know yeah. what I mean? But now, about that five-week mark, now four, your, your body fat is down. <laughs> you can just get on that thing and just crank like you used to and stuff. You yeah. Know? <laughs> you know, and so, and so with a lot of, I'm just found with a lot of amateurs when they, when they see a lot of these guys and gals doing cardio late in, 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 in their prep, and they're barely moving, you know, and they, they're thinking, well, maybe that's how I'm supposed to be from the, no, it's not. You got plenty of fat. You're like 12, 13% body fat. You got plenty. You can crank that out, you know, yeah. but yeah. the thing about is it, you're right. As you, as you start to deplete, then you, you have to let off the intensity just a little bit, but the actual training itself doesn't change. Doesn't change no. Yeah. It doesn't change. You know, it's like when I do interval training, I mean, I go as high, I, I start at six and I go as high as 15. But when I'm three weeks out, <laughs> two weeks out, I'll be lucky to get past six. <laughs> mm. You know, you know I, that, there's just, it's just not going to happen, but you got to keep going, though. Yeah. It's the intensity. You got to have that intensity. You're not doing right. it. Yeah. And if and that it, intensity ain't there, though, there ain't nothing going on. <laughs> and the thing about it is this, if you're not going through that, then you, you got to take a look at, you got to take a good hard look at yes. it or have somebody else take a look at it. Yeah. Some, something's, something, something's up, you know? Yeah. Cause, cause ultimately you should be feeling depleted if you're doing everything in schedule. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, right. That's right. kind of normal. You know, and, and, and like I said, it's, it's typically about the last, about the last three weeks, three, maybe four weeks, sometimes just a pain. So it, 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 it's never the same, but it's that last no, it's quarter. Yeah. yeah, it seems like Emerald for me, it was the last uh, three weeks. Last two weeks was basically the hardest, I think. Right. Uh, uh, but then the show before that, you know, I was de- depleted and I, you know, I didn't feel as you know, a tip top, but it, I didn't, it, it wasn't as bad, you know, uh, uh, mm-hmm. the show before that. Uh, at least not that I can recall at this point. So, uh, you know, other than just your normal, <laughs> your normal lethargy, you know uh but yeah, yeah you are you yeah. are lethargic that's for sure yeah yes and that and that's what sucks about it but you know you you, you got a goal and that's what you and that you got to do what you got to do to get to that goal but that and and, and that's, that's what a lot of this, that's that's why you have that's why you have a lot of a lot of talkers and not a lot of walkers and stuff because yes, yes. That, that, that is that is not an easy thing to do now hey, ball, ronnie coleman said everybody wants to be a bodybuilder until mm-hmm. it's time to do what bodybuilders do <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah you gotta go you gotta go to that the, the that depletion zone there you know what i mean yeah. you, you know there may, you know and there's always exceptions there are probably some people that that it, it it doesn't really bother them that much and stuff but trust me that's few and far between yeah you know? yeah the rest I of mean, us mortals you know i mean you're, you're yeah. Gonna feel <laughs> mortals yeah so and and uh 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 it's about survival your body is trying to survive 
You know, right, it, no, you, it, you, you it's see, not you normal see. to be five percent body fat. That's not yeah, normal. You're, 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 you, you, um, you're, you're, you see yourself getting ready for a bodybuilding. Your body didn't care about no bodybuilding. Yeah. Show. and that, that reminds me too. I, I don't remember what it was. I text you because if you guys don't know, I text my weight to Donnie every day during prep, so you know, uh, we keep tabs on what's going on with my body and what I need to do for cardio and blah blah blah. Uh, I don't remember what it was. I text you and you text back. Your body doesn't give a shit about the show. <laughs> no. I just it lost it. You know? <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't. No, it doesn't. But, uh, oh, man, that was funny. Uh, <laughs> but you're absolutely right. It doesn't. I mean, and it's trying to survive. You know, uh, that's all it is. You, you, you are, you are dealing, you are, you are dealing with your survival mechanism yeah. at that point. Cause I mean, at first when you start your cardio and you start your diet, you know, you're actually dropping weight pretty quick. At least me, I drop weight. Quick. Yeah. No, everybody you get does down to that point where it's like, Nope, no more. Yeah. And you got to work hard to get beyond that. Yeah. Point. That's when it starts to suck. Because yeah. Now you got to work harder because your yeah. body don't want to work with you. It don't. You, 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 you <laughs> just, you just, you just need to get from 5.2 to like five, five, even just yeah. even five, two to five, even it's like, you know, and that's a huge difference in your look too. Like, yeah, it is really huge. Yeah, <laughs> but at that point, like I said, it's like tenth of a percent. It's just like a sprinter. You know what I mean? Their top end, let's say their top end is nine two, you know, but somebody else is running like a nine flat, you know. Mm -hmm. So now he's got to drop, or she's got to drop two tenths of a second on their yeah. time, but they're gonna have to move a mountain in order to do it. Well, it's yeah. the same thing with us and body fat. Yep, you know, yep. there's a big difference between uh, five point seven. And 5.2. Yeah. There's a big difference. You know, number wise, and, it don't look much different, but right, yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> you know, but when yeah. you're depleted, you know, and you already dropped like 20 pounds, you know, and you're depleted, you know, and, and now you go, you got to drop about another two, three pounds. So yeah, do you, you think maybe well, a lot, maybe some of the fatigue actually comes from your body trying to fat to keep the, trying to uh, fight to keep the fat kind of thing? You know, it's doing that. It's also, wanting to burn fat and just kind of confused and you're you know you're you're a machine and you keep on going, yeah, well, going, it, going. It's, it's not it's not necessarily wanting to burn fat. it's just you're, you're making it burn fat you yeah. know it, it's like i don't really want to do this but you're like yeah, we're gonna do this you know so <laughs> yeah. it, it, you know because you know, i need my freaking pro card you know yeah like, what the hell's a pro card you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> Love that. yeah. <laughs> and that and it just goes down to what i said earlier about you know uh, we're competing against ourselves. Yes, yeah. we have competitors. Yes, you're you, absolutely you're have, right about that. Yeah, it's it's about you. That's all. You know, this is your path. This is what you got to do to conquer your body. And it's all about conquering your body. You tell mm -hmm. your body what to do. You don't want to necessarily do what you tell it to do, but it's going to do what you tell it to do. <laughs> if you, I know what I know. We had a we had we had we had a we had a competitor. She was at the uh, she was at the uh, North America, and uh, and you know she 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 took. She took fifth in a class. I think she's in like four events. She took fifth. I think she brought home. She she brought home two. She didn't get a pro card, hmm. but you know she uh, and in in two of uh, two of the events she didn't place. But you know she's like I brought my best look, you know, and I, I had to tell her I said, anytime you bring your best look, you know, regardless of the outcome, that's a win. You won, yeah, yeah. This is not easy to do. This this is not an easy you know? thing. <laughs> if, you, if, if you can take if you can take a picks you look at the previous picks from your previous comp and, and you look at it and you see a significant difference you want mm -hmm. you know in my eyes anyway you know so yeah. absolutely like you got you got a sign in, in your in your gym i think it says uh slow progress is still progress yes you know if you as long as you're going up that's all that matters <laughs> yes you're going absolutely. ahead you're not going behind the minute you start going behind well that's not called progress no more so and that's just what it is. Uh, that's why, you know, for, for, for mental health, for, uh, you know, uh, uh, your look, obviously, I mean, and for just how you feel, you know, this is a great sport for that. I mean, you know, for me, you know, it, uh, especially with mental health part, you know, uh, cause I, I'm pretty passive aggressive and, and boy, I get my, you know, I unload it on the gym every time. And it just, for me, if I didn't have that, you know, it might, I might get in trouble or so, you know what I mean? So, I mean, it's just, it's such a, the sport itself is just fascinating mm -hmm. what it can do it for is. a person. And then you yeah. get, you know, you get your self-esteem back, you know, if you didn't have it before, you know, some people don't even get, but a lot of people get into it because of self-esteem, you know, they want to mm -hmm. look better, mm -hmm. you know, and then you get that. And then it's like, then you, you start, you come to a phase where you don't even think about that. Where it wasn't even a thought in your head. You know that you're, you're good to go. You know, you're just, you, 
you, you got more control of yourself and you're and you're more uh, in tune with yourself, you know, right, right, whereas right. before you weren't. So it's just such an important thing for, for people to, especially, especially with self-esteem issues to get into, I think, you know, if you can yeah. just get into it, you don't necessarily have to compete, but just the whole journey of fitness in, in that sense, you know, it, uh, it's just, it's a great, great thing. <laughs> it is. I think so. It, and me, I, I think, especially, I think master's bodybuilding has something to offer the, the the public in general and stuff. I mean, basically when you see older people do things yes. that, 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 uh, that, uh, that, uh, that you, you think they are long past their prime, you know, that's, that's one thing. But when, when you see bodybuilders, you know, you see these, 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 these over 50, over 60 bikini like girls looking the way they're looking and, and, um and, you know, it, Baby boomers is a is probably the largest generation right now. You know, I mean, we're we're, we're a lot older and stuff. You know, but you've got a you've got an aging um, um, uh, Gen X that's right behind us and stuff. You know, and and people they 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 do look up to older pe- folks still. You know, I mean, yeah. I got lots of members in the gym. You know, that are in the seventies and eighties and they're still training and stuff. And I still see that. You know, and and it makes me feel good to know that these folks are still training and stuff. Yeah. And, but the thing about it is that a lot of them, they get their inspiration from watching us. Yes. Yes. It's a give. It it is. Yeah. It, you're right about that. Yeah. And, it, and no. you know, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you're 62 years old and you're on stage and you look better than 20, 20 year old, you know, that, that is inspiring to me. And it's just because of your age. And then like, I think at your, at your, sh- your last show, there was what, there was a guy in the eighties division, mm-hmm. just one. And I guess guy had muscle. I mean, and he's going through the same stuff we're going through, and he did it at 80 years old. That's you know, but just it's 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 fascinating, and yeah. So inspiration is definitely inspiration for people. Yeah, but, yeah uh, absolutely. Well, I gotta I gotta cut this. I gotta cut this out. The the things about All right. Uh, one thing I would do want to question ask you is uh, how, how did Linda's show go? Um. So she 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 got fifth mm-hmm. in the uh, in the figures, and she got sixth in pink. Okay. And- is there a big uh, turnout? Uh, huh? Big turnout? Yeah, she had she had a pretty good she had a pretty good turnout and stuff. So, but that was a, and that was the best she had looked. Really? You yeah, know, I guess it was. It was. It I was know. really. It was really good. She was happy with the look. I was happy with the look. You know, nice. we weren't happy with the outcome. Yeah. But, you know, you, you bring your best package. It's all you yeah. can do. She works super hard. Like that. That girl. She works. She does. <laughs> And, and, uh, and she, so. she gives it everything she's got each time. So just, you know, it's an, it's an inspiration. <laughs> so she's, she's going to be going to Chicago next year. She'll do the team. You. Oh, nice. 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 Yeah, she's, okay. yeah, it's already, it's already been decided. So we'll, we'll get a war calendar set up for, nice. us, for, for that date and stuff for her and stuff. So. Yeah. That, and, that's uh, awesome. Does it give her yeah. some, does it give her some, a good off season time? Right. Get, I mean, yeah, she's she's gonna go on vacation and stuff, you know, and then you know, and and we'll slowly get back into it, and and yep. and we'll go ahead and go over there and stuff. So yeah, nice, nice. Well, if I if you, if you see her before I do, tell her congratulations. I will do uh, that. Uh, yeah, and uh, all right, you guys, uh, we're gonna call it good. Uh, uh, see you next Monday, and uh, next one's gonna be dry out, and then uh, yes. and then fill out. Fill out yes. is my favorite. <laughs> dry out's not my favorite, but dry out is so necessary, man. If you don't hit it, it is. That, and fill out is necessary too, though. And we'll yes. talk about that, though. Yes. All right. See you later, guys. Good night, Donnie. <laughs>